not often do we see laptops going through such a transformation. If you think we are talking about the Dell XPS laptop here, no we are not. This is the Dell X Inspiron 15 and it looks nothing like the two predecessors, the past two generations I mean. This, this particular machine that we have here is the Inspiron 15 7000 series, the version with the Core i5 processor, not the Core i7, the Core i7 one is available in India as well. One thing that immediately kind of impressed us was the fact that the old Inspiron build quality design form factor has been completely done away with. There were, there were just too many issues with that build quality. You, you would have the keyboard dipping, you would, when you would lift the laptop, there would be creaks. I mean, it just didn't feel premium, even though it had a premium price tag. The fact that Dell has now moved over to using what the kind of styling that did with the XPS laptops basically means this one feels extremely premium. Take it out of the box and this looks classy. This will be at home, in a student's dorm room, in college and equally in a board meeting. Let me just run you through the build quality. On the lid, this is pure metal, again a completely non-glossy finish, so it just catches a few fingerprints but that's about it. Open it up, you have the similar colored finish here, though this finish on the keyboard deck is plastic, but you have the diamond cut on the sides, which looks extremely nice. It's, it's a slightly shiny element to an otherwise rather unified colored machine. The port placement is pretty conventional. You have two USB ports on this side along with the power. You have another two USB ports, the memory card slot, the 3.5mm jack and the HDMI out along with the Ethernet port. Now another thing that impressed us with this particular machine is the generous cooling vents on the base. This keeps a lot cooler than the previous Inspiron machine. And this is quite reminiscent of the Dell XPS 13 and the XPS 14 laptops and ultrabooks that Dell used to sell in India till recently. Now, this is a 15.6 inch touchscreen. Unfortunately, it's not got the 1080p resolution which its elder brother, the, the Core i7 version has. This is still 1366, 768. Uh, I mean, for a machine that is costing about 67,000 rupees in the market, you would expect a 1080p screen now. Unfortunately, that's not the case in this particular Inspiron. Hopefully, with the next update, Dell will sort that out as well. Another thing that's massively improved over the previous version is the keyboard. Gone is the wide key layout. In come the more traditional key size, what you would see on, let's say, an HP machine or the MacBook. The key spacing is perfect. The only little niggle that's something, something that Dell needs to improve on is the response that you get for every key press. It's still slightly soft, though it's not an issue at all. Let me, let me clarify here, that's not an issue at all. You will get used to it very quickly. The layout is perfect. It's got a generous size touchpad, clearly marking out the right and left click keys. So, so if you're one of those guys like us who have to write a lot on a daily basis, this keyboard will be a very good companion. We've talked about the screen, we've talked about the keyboard, but very critical is the battery life. Now, we had recently tested a Core i7 HP NV15 machine also running Haswell, and that gave a fairly disappointing battery life. Now, there could be many reasons for that, but primarily what that machine showed us was that Haswell's claimed battery life improvements did not really work in that case. In this one, we are getting a little more than two hours of tested battery life which is at full load the benchmarks we use this as a primary machine it gave us about just about four hours of battery life if you're really careful and it would give you about three hours of battery life if you're listening to music in the background as well or, or watching a video for a little while in that regard for a machine of this size and this much power this battery life is not bad at all in terms of gaming this has got a GT 750m 2 gig graphics card. While it's extremely good in its own right, it will handle a lot of games with absolute ease. It's scoring a little lesser than the HP NV15's GT740M in, in terms of the frame rates and in terms of the benchmark scores. Though a very slight difference, you will not feel it when you're gaming in the real world. But something for the pedantic guys out there who, who like numbers, 
that's something for you to chew on however important to know that this machine is running a core i5 that machine was running a core i7 the hp one that i'm talking about so the processor clocking obviously has a difference on how the graphics card will respond in certain cases overall if you have about a budget of 65 67 thousand rupees and you're in the market for a machine a windows machine particularly you could consider the core i5 version of the hp nv15 or you could consider this particular machine it's a very close call between the two but from what we've experienced this is a dell inspiron machine that we would not hesitate to, hesitate to recommend to anyone simply because it's massively improved over the previous generation and if this is the kind of path that dell is taking then hopefully the next version of the inspiron will be even better and hopefully with a 1080p screen